Good evening. Oh man, it's amazing. To, it's, it's amazing to be here. Um, yeah. So, on behalf of your king. Uh, <laughs> It's not my fault you've still got a king. <laughs> uh, it's so, I mean, I was here last year. I was one of the few international uh, acts fortunate enough to be here, but this is the real deal. Now we're back. This wonderful comedy festival, back to, to its. And it really is great to, because for the past couple of years, it's been hard to be a comedian. Um, the, Lots of times you wonder whether this was a viable way to make your living. As recently as a year ago, I remember being on my street in London and there was one of those posters for a lost dog. Have you seen this dog with a cash reward? And I remember thinking, I've got to find that fucker if I can. <laughs> I, if we get 10 of those in the diary, we could be all right here. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you don't want... You don't want your kids to think that, that things aren't going well. That's the big thing. My son is 13. He's coming to Melbourne this year uh, for the first time. He, um, <laughs> he's, he's got Google now. Obviously, he's got a smartphone. And um, about six months into my son's phone ownership, I thought, what's he Googling? There's so much terrible stuff out there. I need to look. Uh, he left his phone in my room. Um, and so I thought, you know, maybe there are things that he's worried about that he can't ask his dad or, the, you know, that are, that are concerning him. I, but this is how I justified it. Obviously, it's just spying. Uh, so <laughs> it's the same as looking through the window of someone's house going, maybe someone is naked and needs help. Uh, he's, <laughs> uh, it's spying. Um, and sure enough, my son had Googled me, his old man, you would do if you, I would have done the same in 1991 if I'd had a smartphone, but my dad's a chemistry teacher, not loads of his stuff made it onto YouTube. Uh, <laughs> that's why magnesium reacts the way it does. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Having said I would have done the same, I did not anticipate this. My son's first Google search on this planet, for me, uh, I don't even know where he got this idea, let alone the phrase, four words, Mark Watson, net worth. Uh, it was, um, <laughs> what? Net worth? So, as you can imagine, we are now in quite heavy pocket money renegotiation sessions. Because <laughs> it came up with two, two million pounds. I had to put it to him. That's out by, well, yeah, two million pounds. Um, <laughs> then he Googled Mark Watson girlfriend, which I've tried that myself recently. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> quicker than the apps, isn't it? And um, <laughs> if you Google that, you see him with his mum, my ex, and me with a couple of other people. And then, for reasons that I do not understand, just a picture of Nicole Kidman. <laughs> and uh, obviously, he's done a search. He's like, wow, when were you with her? I'm, I was never with her, but he doesn't believe it. He thinks that Google knows more than me. And like, <laughs> I've not had a bad life, but like, just from the vibes I've given off so far, I never expected to have to convince someone I've not slept with Nicole Kidman. That's, <laughs> that's not an argument I thought I'd have to win. Anyway, as always, absolutely amazing to be back in Melbourne. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much. My name is Matt Watson.